Hi, I just, I wanted to make a video showing how to make an HTML page and then launch it on Cloud for other pages. Because it's significantly faster than the GitHub pages and for my purposes, it's just what's the only option I could find. And whenever looking through other YouTube videos about how to do this, there was just, there was a lot of stuff that wasn't explained. Or at least, it wasn't explained in a way that I could understand just coming from a relatively beginner standpoint. So I wanted to just take you through the entire step um, process step by step just go through absolutely everything that I think could possibly trip somebody up because it tripped me up a lot <laughs> I spent multiple hours figuring this thing out so I just want to compress that down to about five minutes for you so if anybody else has the same issue they just don't have to look at it again um, to start out you're gonna need a github account if you don't already have one you can go to github.com and just create an account uh, once you get there you're going to want to go to your icon in the top right and you're gonna click your repositories that's a page that I was already on. And then you're going to push the new button. You can just name it whatever. I'm going to just make it a YT page. All right, and then we're going to make it public. And you don't have to add a readme or anything else. So just push create repository. At this point, you're going to have to create the page, the file that actually contains your web page. So it's going to have to have a specific name. That specific name is going to be index.html. And that's just to communicate with uh, Cloudflare pages over here that, hey, this is a website and you need to interpret it as like an HTML website. You use other names, stuff doesn't work. So here's where we're going to put your HTML code. If you haven't made a website with HTML before, uh, w3schools.com has a lot of good resources regarding it. I'm going to just run through a very, very basic example. So Hello World is kind of a programmer thing for just first website, first code run whatever. So we're going to take that and we're going to change it to Hello Boaz, because that's my name. And we're going to push run, and now it changed. And this is just a very, very bare bones basic example of a uh, HTML website. You can get way more complicated with it, but just for this example, this is all we need. We're going to paste in the code, and then we're going to push commit new file down at the bottom. Alright, you now have HTML code this by itself can run as a local website on your computer. But if we want to put it on the internet so anybody that's not on your computer, not on your local network can access it, you got to use something like Cloudflare Pages. So if you don't already have an account here, you're going to have to sign up. If you do, just push login. And then you're going to go um, from your dashboard down to Pages. We're then going to push Create a Project and then Connect to Git. If this is your first time connecting, you're going to have to log in with your GitHub account. And then I'm just going to click the repository that we just made. So MSUBB YT page. Right here. And push begin setup. We're going to leave this production branch as main. That's the branch that matches right here. And then leave all the build settings as the default. So none, blank, and then blank. Then push save and deploy. So this next page is really cool. It's going to show you exactly what's happening. Right now it's initializing the build environment, then it's going to go on to cloning the git repository, and it's going to skip the build application stage, you can see there's no uh, time associated with it over here, and it's going to deploy to the Cloudflare global network. So this is just talking about a little bit more in depth, and then this is the link right here to the website that we made with the HTML code. So it should look something just like this, and we're going to click on it now, and there you go. Exactly what we made over here, but this time you can take this link. You can put it anywhere on the internet. Like you can look at it on your phone. You can put it on a QR code and then scan it. It just uh, it's on the internet now for free. All right, but the really cool thing about Cloudflare Pages, if you go to index.html on your uh, GitHub account again, and then push this little pencil. You can change it from Hello Boaz back to Hello World. All right, and then we're just gonna scroll down here, push Commit Changes. If you go back to Cloudflare, down at the continue to project, you see this new little thing pop up. And what's happening here is it noticed a change in your GitHub repository. And it's going to take that, it's going to look at the code change, and it's going to actually deploy a new version of the site with your changes. If you go back here, it's going to have uh, the domain where the first page was, and what we can actually do here is we can just refresh the website, and now it says hello world. 
So we, that's really powerful because basically what you can do is you can use a Python program or other scripting language and then you can write stuff to GitHub and basically turn a static website into a dynamic website and host live data essentially. I mean you can see the amount of time that it took for this to update from me making a change over here and then uh, pushing commit it actually posts on the new website and it shows right here actually which is 10 seconds. That's not instantaneous but it's just about as good as you can get and for free that's, that's really impressive. Uh, it's one of the best solutions I've found for uh, this particular problem. The first one was only 8 seconds and part of that is also just there's no real build phase since it's just HTML code. Um, but yeah, I thought that was a really cool solution. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I, uh, I'll post all the links that you're going to need for this, as well as some documentation provided by Cloudflare about how to do this specifically. I just think that uh, this may be a little bit more helpful than some of the other videos I saw about it.